Hello YouTube, I'm now in Espoo, Finland, it is a suburb of Helsinki, the capital city, and I'm approaching Espoo Metro Arena, where we'll be watching the Continental Hockey League preseason game between Sparta at Moscow and uh, the first ever Chinese KHL team, Kunlun Red Star. And uh, here at the arena, oh, there is a football stadium here as well, like the parking is quite empty. Not a lot of interest toward this game, but uh, I think it should be a good game. So the arena used to be, is probably better known as a Barona Arena or uh, Lancy Auto Arena. It used to be a ho home arena of Blues Espo before it went bankrupt last season and this season it's gonna be the home arena of Espo United team which will be playing in the second highest division of Finnish hockey. So let's head inside. Yeah so I'm inside the arena it's actually pretty crowded here so and just for the start of the game. So the teams are playing in the shirt without names, so it's a little bit difficult for, for me to recognize the players. So Kulun is playing in red, and Spartak is playing in white. A slow game so far. Uh, three minutes played in the first period, it's an interesting moment because uh, Spurdock will be playing power play. And uh, uh, actually in the first game against Tractor, Kunla had a really strong penalty killing. So let's see how it will will go now. It's uh, uh, number 79, I don't know who is the player for Kunlun who is now in the penalty book. Oh, it's actually... Actually, two players penalty. It's uh, no, it's one place for five on four power play now. Uh, a solid penalty killing by four long. that it's an offside I think I know it's a penalty by Spartak uh, it's a very bad power play by Spartak immediately taking the penalty so it's four on four short both teams are short handed So far the game has been like quite equal. Sparta has a little bit of dominance in the beginning, but uh, no, it's going on that end of the game as well. Dangerous. Very solid defense by Kunlun. Oh, so close. Dangerous. Number 15. Oh, uh, uh, and actually it's now going to be a power play for Kunlun. Yeah, it's an interesting moment, a power play by Kunlun. In the first game against Tractors, the power play has been like quite terrible. 
but now it's now it's uh, it's still like four four on four. It's penalty for both teams. I don't quite understand like, what's going on, but uh, yeah, it's four on four. Half of the first period is played as a really boring game because uh, both teams are not able to create anything in the offensive round. Uh, they're not a super strong defensively either, but uh, uh, the defensively they have kind of a uh, playing a strong, playing strong defense, not individually strong, but strong, strong team defense. But offensively, both teams really like the players who can take the initiative, like Ovechkin and Crosby, and score the goal. So, so far, but as you can see, it's 10, 10, 40, 10 54 left in the first period, and, and nothing really interesting happening. It's also really annoying that the players don't have the names at the back and the numbers. So very problematic to follow. Uh, it's also visible that uh, the teams are not in their best physical condition, which is understandable for the pre-season game. Uh, I usually like to watch pre-season hockey because uh, teams are not so ready and, uh, and uh, they allow a lot of mistakes, but here it's really the teams allow some mistakes, but uh, yeah, the opponents are not really using them at all. Yeah. And one thing which I noticed is that uh, both Bernag and Kunlun are trying to score immediately. They're not playing for sure, just uh, getting a pack uh, into the offensive uh, zone and immediately shooting. Of course, if you don't shoot, you don't score. But uh, that's a bit extreme, taken to the extreme in this game, I think. It's actually interesting now there is a Chinese, all of Kunlun players are Chinese. The Chinese, it seems that like uh, Kunlun had three, three lines of uh, European skaters and, uh, and that's uh, the whole line which is now coming back 45, uh, 62, is it 82, yeah, 45, 82 is uh, completely Chinese line and I should say it's uh, the line has like a solid, solid shift now, nothing. A lot of people were concerned that the Chinese players are not ready for KHL, but I believe those Chinese players who just play for Finland were quite, quite ready. Yeah, so five minutes left in the first period and really falling asleep. It's again without uh, any offensive moments at all and uh, interestingly as you can see Kunlun is playing in the uniforms without without the dragon logo I think the logo was removed because it uh, the dragon is the property of some some, uh, some online game and this uh, the logo was just a star looks a little bit stupid to me the logo with dragon is really was really stylish, I think, but uh, we'll see what will happen. A lot of interruptions. Now it's actually an interesting moment, a power play by Kun Loon. Five and four power play. Let's, let's see if something will happen. Kung Lun stays in the zone, no shot now. No, a major shot to the... Yeah, oh! It's a quite solid power play so far. Yeah, 
Bora. Não, chora, não. The last shot is missing, otherwise the player plays uh, is rolling around really well. Oh. Uh, Spardak's penalty killing is really, is not really convincing. Players are largely lost, but uh, yeah. Oh, just an easy mistake letting the pack go out of the zone. Both teams are changing are their lines. Yeah, well, my general impression about Kunlun is a very tactically solid team. But the only thing is that uh, they're missing like, the individual skill on their offense. Also on the defense, but on the defense, the individual skill is less visible, I think. So, yeah. Let's see if now it will work. Okay, danger along the corner and Sparta player clears it. Uh, and now just shoot. No. No. And now to the center. Everybody close. Oh, that's a good idea by that. A little bit too high. It's an easy to. Oh, and it's shot just uh, very close, but it's a good goal kicking by number 35. I'm going to choose it out the angle and whoever it is. Yeah, I think the power play. Yeah, the power play is over. It's technically solid power play, but it just uh, nobody to make this last shot. Yeah, it's 0-0 zero, zero after the first period, and inside the arena nothing seems to work, but I hope the restroom is, is working, because I want to peace really badly. Yeah, yeah the, you, can, uh, you can see, it, but yeah, the restroom is open, so, but it's like really dark, it's not really suited for anything so I will be piecing here conditions <laughs> not very easy but we will try yeah Spa Metro Arena it's not a it's not a very old arena I think it's like 15 years old it like fits around 7,000 people like 3,000 downstairs and three, uh, three uh, around 4,000 upstairs and, uh, but as you can see there condition of the seats is not very how very good it's uh, I think it has the arena is like 15 years old but it has never been renovated ever cosmetically so yeah it's not a you can see the two banners uh, uh, for Yeri Lechten and another player Hirvon and actually Yeri Lechten had a long career in uh, Dallas Stars I don't know, never heard about it. So, these are only two players rest to the Raptors. I think Lechten is for Kiako Espo, which was uh, the name of the Blues before, and here one is for Espo Blues. Uh, ironically, as I mentioned before, the team doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, we're in the second period. It's a power play by Sparta. Very solid clearance by Kunlun. And here we go. Slow start by Sparta. Entering the zone. And offside. Mistake by number 20, 23, I think, yeah, no, 29. An easy mistake. The power plays by Spartak was quite weak so far.
be over there. Yeah, and now we're time to shoot by subscribing to the goalie. I'm actually not sure if it's Makarov or Tarhun and playing. It looks quite big, so it might be like Makarov. A shot. Uh, a weak rebound control by the keeper. Uh, and another solid clearance by Kunlu. Penalty killing is really strong. Is a really strong part of Kunlu's game. Uh, I think one of the Chinese players are hit by her to his face. Is there blood? No, there's no blood. <laughs> yeah, there might be blood. At the end of the second period, nothing really happened during the whole period. Unfortunately, it seemed that the only Chinese line in Kunlun is playing very short, very short minutes. They probably had a couple, only a couple of shifts, shifts during the second period. It's actually a power play by Kunlun, but Spartak is controlling the pack. Uh, which is a little bit strange, as uh, during this game Kunlun had a solid power plays. But now some kind of uh, disorder is happening. And now Fulon is entering and the zone. We're still waiting for the first historical goal by Kunlun in the first game they are lost to Tractor Chelyabinsk 2-0. Uh, and uh, this game is still tied at 0-0 and it's uh, 1.32 left in the second period. And uh, now a chance, but it goes wide. Six seconds of the power play left and nothing. Sparta haven't had it. the advantage during this power play. Some Sparta player is lying down and disturbing the play, which is really ridiculous. And some individual effort by Kung Lu. Uh, will the player take the shot? He take the shot. Rebound as three on two by Sparta on the last minute, but man, again, it, it seems that the ice is a little bit soft, players. Falling down quite often. And, uh, yeah, the zoomer for the end of the second period. One period left, and we haven't seen any girls so far. And yes, so we in the beginning of the third period, as part of just scored after a defensive mistake by Kunlun. So now the game might uh, get a little bit more interesting as I hope Kunlun will try to score an equalizer. And that's what they're like, trying to do now and where is the pack? Well, the pack is blocked. There's no goal. Um, I'm not sure but I think it's Dmitry Kalinin who scored for Sparta. I had a long NHL career in Buffalo. Yo, so Sportak just scored 
the second go after a goalkeeper mistake. I think it's Makarov, not Karhonek, for playing a goalkeeper for three games a day. So it looked like relatively easy at least shot and uh, the clover upper corner. Chance for Kun Luna now. No. I think that one of the problems of Kun Luna's game is that uh, when the team is going into the offense, only one or two players are going, going up. Over three or four players are staying low. Uh, it might make sense to attack with more people. Of course, it opens your defensive zones but uh, I guess uh, when it's two nothing at the end of the game so it's uh, not such not a not a big problem and against Pertagas I think like Kulun is technically stronger but Spartak that just scores all these games after Spartak uses the mistakes really well Kira, Kira, what do you think about the game? We won by Z, we will cut off. Uno is very, very big team. I think, I don't agree, I think Uno is comparable. To the lower middle level teams in KHL like Spartak. I think if these teams would play like a series out of seven, it would probably be something like 4-2 or 4-3. For Sparta. Kunun is weaker, but it's, uh, it's uh, not that much weaker. It's that much weaker. It's two minutes of the third period, power play by Sparta Moscow. Yeah, overall the game was a little bit disappointing. Both teams uh, are somewhat lagging offensively. It was of course very interesting to see the Chinese line for Kun Lun, but they played very short minutes. Uh, overall the skating of the Chinese players is, is like uh, a pretty good. The only problem is that uh, the stick handling and the hockey skills are not, not that strong, uh, so I'm not uh, it might be a little bit dangerous to put them on ice in a catch out game, but we'll see. Maybe they will find some better Chinese players. Although I think they already signed all Chinese players from uh, AHL and the ECHL. Uh, power play. Spartak, it's uh, shot now. And uh, I think we're still waiting for the first ever. A uh, goal by Kun Lun, but it's not likely to happen in this game. Only 16 seconds left. Uh, Sparta controlling the pack, pack in the zone. Five. Uh, will we see a fight? No, we won't see a fight, I'm afraid. That's uh, five seconds left in the third period. Yeah, three or four. Oh no, it's two. A Spartak player gets the penalty. So five seconds left. That's four on four, like the referee says. I can hear what he's saying, sitting so close. Uh, 
three, two, one, zoom. Yeah, the game is over. I think the next uh, preseason game I will be attending will be between Espo United and Mohabarovsk. So, hope to see you there. Best of luck. Of course, this handshaking procedure, it's one of the best part of the hockey, nothing comparable in other sports, I think. I actually didn't know that it exists in preseason games. But, uh, yeah, it's a very nice and friendly gesture, which I think it would be nice to have in other sports as well. Yeah,